What a fantastic bridge! I didn't even know dragons used bridges. <laughs> Here we go. Dragon's Bridge, eh? I think I've heard of it. Well, you should have more. It's one of the most famous sites here in Skyrim. Well, I'm not really into architecture, but... Whoa. Well, if dragons really were this big, I'd think twice before accepting the role of Dragonborn. That is huge. Perhaps in the ancient eras, they truly were that size. Or perhaps it's just an artist's interpretation. Or exaggeration, that's what it is. That's rather scary. Anyway, so we're in a town, right? It's not just a bridge. Yes, Dragon's Bridge is also the name of the town. Well, come on. Let's go. I really dislike discovering new settlements, new places at night. Everything's closed. There's no people about. But you know what? It's so late. And I am so damn tired. I don't really care. What's this? Huh. Considering the place is really near a major forsworn stronghold. It's good that this place is fortified. Where's the inn? Alright, at least they have a smithy. Oh, I think the town ends here. Maybe there's another street here. Oh. Yes, there is. I am so tired. I mean, we've been traveling and exploring and basically fighting the whole way in this region in the north for the past couple of days and I don't think I've had a wink of sleep the whole time. Well, that's on you, Mort. I didn't tell you to not sleep. Uh, well, there's a... There's an inn at least. Four shields. Let's get Inigo and Lucian bedded down and we'll retire ourselves. Hey, watch it. I don't have to take that for oh, you. Oh, come on. Hope you're willing anyway. to those words up with your fist. Uh, Inigo. You want to talk? Yes, um... Uh, I am all ears. Uh, relax here for a while, all right? We all deserve a break. Good idea. You should take a break too. You deserve it. Thanks. Uh, Lucian? Hello there. You too. Take a break. We're staying here for the night, alright? So long as you come back for me. Let me know if you need anything else. Alright. Oh, oh, you worse. two idiots. Hey! Yes. This Have a drink on me. And you, you. Yeah. Have a drink on me. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to give him. Oh, whatever. Stop fighting, damn it. Hello. What a display of color. Oh. It's just a basic spell. Anyway, um, yeah. I like uh, rent rooms for my company. And myself as well, I guess. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. Have there been any rumors lately? 
People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? No, and I would, uh, I would not really care if there was. I'm, uh, pretty enough as I am. <laughs> um, alright, uh, can I have a refill of water, please? Of course. Alright, thank you. I'll show you to your room, right this way. <clears throat> Once again, no doors. Let me know if there's anything else you need. A door, please. Oh, and uh, yeah, this tomorrow. Quiet down, you. The gods. Stamina of these people. Excuse me. Whoa. Quite a lot of vigilance. Good morning, again. Well, someone's cheery. <clears throat> Hello? You speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Cavort with any day drop. We will hunt you down. Oh, well, me? Converted data? <laughs> I don't trust a lot. Yes. Uh, Until next time. Yes, indeed. <coughs> Alright, um, here you go. What is on your mind? Let's go. I am right behind you. We should... What can I do for you? Come on. I'll be right behind you. Really need a change of scenery. Well... an interesting town. It's part cosmopolitan, part Hamlet. Ah. Anyway, come on. Let's head for Solitude. First time going there. But hopefully there's a carriage. I'm fairly sure there's a carriage there, seeing as it's basically the capital of Skyrim. Well, we'll see for ourselves. And basically wait. Let's keep Dragon Hide ready just in case. We didn't spend the night in the staff of Shalidor. I just felt like staying in an inn. Should not have done that. Damn brawlers making a racket the whole night. There should be a law against that. Right, Mort. I do not know what I have been told. My memory is gone, but I am still bold. I'll kill a spider before I go to bed. Or he'll kill me and I'll wake up dead. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Speaking of songs... What's that? Oh, there's Solitude. Solitude is where the Bard's College is, right? Yes, Bard. I'll take you to go there. He did say that he has a new song he wanted to show us if we visited the Bard's College. Huh. Alright. Ooh, look at that. Far yonder, that's the Blue Palace. The seat of the High King. And I guess it's blue because of the blue roof. Can't really tell from this far, but... Finally, a place with actual masonry. 
Alright. Should be a change from the places we've been so far. I mean, make no mistake, I really like Whiterun. I think it was very... It if is... If you Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricca. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here. Or you'll end up like Rogvir. Uh, who? Um... You're just in time to say hello to Rogvir. Who is this Rogvir, may I ask? He's the sorry bastard who's going to be executed. Executed? A gate guard who let Ark Stormcloak escape the city after he killed the High King. Oh. Well, if he did that, well, no wonder. Huh. An execution mod. Let's hurry. Maybe we'll be able to attend. <laughs> they can't hurt Uncle Rogvir. Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. Svar, you need to go home. Go home and stay there and Get you on know. with it! Lock Ooh, the city gate. You betrayed us. We're just in time, Traitor. Lord. You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Advar. You're all heart, Vivian. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Turing. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He Traitor. doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric Liar! Story. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Oh! Huh. Very well, Rogvir. Bow your head. Oh, here it comes. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Ooh. Yes. It's what you ask for, people. A bit more reaction would be nice. Some gate guard you were! Ouch. Good riddance to bad rubbish, I say. I I you know, Mort, <coughs> that after a person has been beheaded, he died that well. they can see for a full five seconds before death finally takes them. How would you know that? I read it somewhere. Uh, considering that we almost had that fate just a few months ago, I... I, I it shouldn't have go. been like this. My nose enjoys this place. Are we here for business, game, pleasure, or both? Both. Any thoughts? It reminds me a little of Cyrodiil here, a thin veneer of civility, barely masking the dirty doings beneath. It is nice looking, though. Huh. I think that's very apt for this place. Any else? Anything else, I mean? This place smells of coin and good taste. Huh. All right. Let us go. Yes, indeed. We should... We should probably head back to Riverwood as soon as we get a chance. Delphine doesn't seem like the kind of woman to be kept waiting. You're very single-minded. We'll go there when What's I'm next? when I'm good and ready. And they're just going to leave the body here. Perhaps as a warning, Mort. Huh. That minute of Talos, eh? Why did you do that? Nothing. Maybe it might be useful. Hello. Another quiet day, I hope. Well, deathly quiet. Hello there. Spare some gold for a veteran? Indeed, yeah. Are we oh, here thank you. While? Divines bless your kind heart. I heard that uh, you said you were in the Legion. Really? What? 
You see a man falling on hard times? What? And you think he's been like that forever? Um... I was there. I fought in the Great War. I was on the field at Anvil. And when I was struck down, they left me. You understand? They left me for dead. I didn't leave them. Huh. Alright, um... Sorry about that. Anyway... Always uh, good talking to you, friend. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, what's this? What's this? Is it an apothecary? Uh, you know you can afford a radiant or two. raiment. Huh. Come in and shut the door. I heard this place is uh, kind of famous. Considering it's supposed to be a very posh shop, they could probably do with a bit more lights. I bet um, you hello. Get a good price for those gems. Hello, I'm Gizli, but you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. Erica? Am I supposed to know who this person is? Yes, my older brother, and the person you probably want to be speaking to right now. Why would but I... really, since Torig's death, Falk Firebeard wields the true power of the Jarl's court. My brother is nothing more than a pompous little fop. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. We'll speak again later, if we must. Uh, why not? If you seem to be a... drink all that wine, maybe you should sell it on. Seem to be a woman who has a thing to say. Um, hello there. Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. Oh, alright, uh, that's good. Um, has it been a bad day, though? It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. Yeah, that should be very inconvenient indeed. Well, don't worry, that won't happen with me, you know. I say to myself all the time when I go to merchants and shops, one should never waste their time, you know. <laughs> I would never want to waste my time. I mean, my time is, is precious. Life is precious. And life shouldn't be wasted by wasting time, you know. <laughs> oh, so they specialize with clothing. Well, I guess uh, I could pick up a few articles if I wanted to change my clothes. Fine boots. Don't understand what's so fine about these boots. They look like they've been dragged through the mud. Oh. A different selection of fine clothes. This is uh, very much like what we are wearing. It's a new color. I take that. What if this, instead of a hood, I wore a hat? Why? Just uh, for a change, you know. I mean, uh, we did say that we were going for an evil merchant. Uh, dealer in death type look and uh, a hat would uh, fit that more whatever Mort a hood will give you more protection against the cold well yes that's true merchant's boots eh? miner's clothes not sure if we have a lot of rings. Ring of Shore. We should have this enchantment somewhere. Reduces the cooldown of shells. Huh. It's interesting. Another mask. You know what? I'll take that. And, um... Whatever, I'll, 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 mourner's hat. I'll take a fine hat. 
And I want to get my money back, so... Let's sell these. I don't really care what you do with them. Keep the change. Finally. Yes, indeed. I want a place that has better air. Ah. Come on. I do have a fine selection of clothes, though. Well, so far, you've had a very bad mannered shopkeeper. Hello there. Hello, yes. I'm the Dean of History and scribe work <coughs> when I can find some quiet time. Oh, um, I found this very old but plainly very expensive drum in one of my travels. Perhaps you could uh, you can tell me something about it. Is it valuable? At last, I oh. have searched for this drum for 20 years. Oh. The college treasury is a bit thin right now, but I can show you some tricks I learned from my days with the army. Oh, thank you very much, actually. And you're a trainer in the art of speech. Well, you've come to the right place. Oh, why not? Um, it's a bit expensive, but... Uh, hmm... Should we or shouldn't we? Ah, uh, why not? Uh, that's actually a lot. You know what? It's fine. Can't sell him anything. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Thank you. Take care, friend. We've actually learned a lot from him. Here you go. That person was from the college. Something on your mind? You should visit the college, uh, the Bard's College, and you can show me this amazing new song of yours. Back to business. Come on. So there's this, what is this? The Winking Skeever. I think that's the in mod. Uh, don't need to go there then. Alright. I'm not interested. Hello. You were there for Rogvir's execution. Yes. Nasty bit of business, that. Perhaps, but necessary. My cousin Fura is somewhere out there in Skyrim right now, fighting Ulfric Stormcloak and his dams insurrectionists. Huh. She wouldn't have to be there at all if it weren't for Rogvir. And my aunt wouldn't have to worry about her daughter. Oh. Why were they executing him, or why? Why did they execute him, really? You really don't know? No. He lets Ulfric Stormcloak escape solitude. Ulfric rides in, murders the High King, and Rogvir lets him ride right back out. Oh, wow. All right, um, how do you take your mind off something like that, you know? <laughs> Most people head over to the Winking Skeever. If you're not interested in music or drink, you can at least talk to Corpulus. He can fill you in on any of the latest gossip. Huh. All right. Um, thank you. Thank you very much, Miss Onis. People to see and places to go, huh? Later, then. Yes, later. You know you can afford a septum or two. People here are very businesslike. I can admire that. Angeline's Aromatics. Ooh, an alchemist shop. Feel free to look around. We have a fine selection of herbs here at Angela's Aromatics. Yes, um... Yes, um... Where are you? Where are you? Hello? Where are you? Where did she go? Oh, there you are! I You're a traveler, correct? Um, Have you been to Whiterun? Yes, in fact, I'm the Thane of Whiterun. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, yes I am. Uh, I mean, I, I have been there. Wonderful. It I is. hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. But My daughter, Fura, was assigned to Whiterun after she joined the Imperial Army. Um, I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. 
I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Well, I haven't met your daughter. Actually, I've never met any legionnaires in White Rod, actually. But I could try to get some more information about her. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. Captain Aldous. Anyway, um, can you train me in alchemy? No, no. Oh. Mostly, I'm just a simple herbalist. Lamy over in Morthal difference? should be able to help you. Lamy in Morthal. Alright, so you sell perfumes. We mostly carry herbs and alchemical ingredients, that sort of thing. Before the war, our stock was mostly used for aromatic use in homes. Yes. These oh. days, we have more people like you coming in, looking for healing and the like. All right, uh, let me see your wares then. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? All right, um, if you have any... Inch, uh, eh. Well, come to think of it, we could actually mix our own potions of enchanting. I'll take that ultimate healing potion. And uh, if you have chance to charm six, Hagrid and Claw, I think. Yes, that's enchanting. Hagrid feathers, hanging moss, hawk feathers. What is juniper berries? Nern root now. Snowberries. Thunder, cotton, void salts. Alright, that's it for now. And uh, maybe we could sell you some of these things. Never know what you can do with a uh, few good weapons. And uh, how about barbarian hero boots? And uh, this. Keep the change. Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. All right, thank you. Come on. <sighs> All right, so. Bits and pieces. I think this is the general store mode. All right. Welcome to bits and pieces. I'm sure you'll find what you need here. Oh, finally, a merchant with at least some manners. Oh, it's you again, making the rounds yourself. Hello there. Beren said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. Yes, uh, uh, who's Berend? Berend's my husband. Oh, oh. He works at the forge up at Castle Dower. I barely see him nowadays, what with him filling orders for the army. Oh, all right. Were you at Drogvir's execution yourself? No, that was an ugly affair. Huh. High King Torrid's death has turned the whole town on its head. Between you and me? He wasn't even that good a king. Huh. All of those rambling speeches about the Empire this and the Empire that. Well, politics doesn't really float my boat, so to speak. <laughs> um, let me see your wares, please. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Uh, I don't have any. Well, you have a grant. I'll take that. Alright, let's sell them stuff that we won't use. Sell you this. Hmm. Maybe I'll give this to Lucian or Inigo. Take this. Huh. We're missing the gauntlets for this set. Uh, 
Oh, alright, we have a bit more to sell. So that. Eh. Alright. Nope. Eh, fine. Alright. Anything else? All right, thank you. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Thank you, I probably will. All right. <sighs> what I've decided, I think I'll, um, give Lucian here. You know you can What's your weapon? What do you need? Let me I see your stuff. Sure, I'll carry what I can. So you're currently using... Ah, yes, a Daedic sword. Yeah, that's fine. You're, you're okay. I've got your back. And in you go. Uh-huh. Let me see your stuff. Pooling our resources. So you have that incredibly good mace. You have this. You know what? In you go. You're a champion yourself. I'm bequeathing to you Dawnbreaker. Use it. But uh, I might uh, take it back one of these days, alright? And uh, so give me that other one. So I'll sell it. I want okay, you. Let us get back to it. I want you to do a lot of damage with that, alright? <laughs> Well, Mort, how generous you are. I'm not really a sword person. I just like them, but I have my dagger. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. Who are you? You're passing through solitude? Maybe you're looking to make some easy gold, yes? Not really, but uh, what do you have in mind? It's easy to find things to sell. Things nobody will miss. Things from underground, or just left lying around in someone's house. I bet the two of us were very alike. So why not take the next step? We can help each other. My sister Deja and I are treasure hunters. We like to collect things. Treasure hunters. Alright, I'm a bit of a treasure hunter myself on occasion. Go on. I knew you looked like a clever one. With the war, many more ships come through these docks, loaded with weapons and pay, but few people, and they pass through dangerous waters. Uh, we have an interest in one of those boats, the Ice Runner. The Solitude Lighthouse will be guiding it in, but if its fire were to go out, the Ice Runner would run aground. You want me to put out the lighthouse fire? What an interesting idea. What? I think <clears throat> if someone were to do something like that, there would definitely be a certain amount of loot to be shared. Yes, if someone were to put out the lighthouse fire and then meet me on the docks afterwards, I could certainly direct them to that loot. Mort? This person is very shady. Yes, of course he is. He's a... he's a... Argonian. Oh, whatever. And uh, if this happened, and someone did do that, I mean, what would happen to the sailors? Uh, we wouldn't want anyone hurt needlessly. Don't worry about them. We'll make sure they wash up safe. Maybe they'll even pay us for their heroic rescue from their sad crash. Huh. I'll consider it, but... Um... Who knows? It would be best if we spoke little until you've completed your task. Very shady stuff, but um... Huh, whatever. Fine. 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 
That must be Castle Dower. That's the Legion headquarters in Skyrim. I'm not really looking to join the war right now. And this is the marketplace, I guess. Keep the cold fresh fish. With our fresh fish. Hello there. Plenty of fresh fish for you. I. I mean, uh, if you don't mind me saying this, you and your daughter were at the execution, weren't they? Swari. Yes. Where's you? It's been hard on her. The girl misses her uncle. I've tried to explain that Rodvir did something bad, and that we all have to be accountable for our actions. But the child feels what she will. Well, of course, uh, they are children after all. But they'll grow up and they will learn. Where do you catch your fish? Down at the docks. There are a few good spots if you can avoid the East Empire company workers and those red wave thugs. Red wave? Let me see your wares then. Take a look. Alright, so he sells food. Ah, don't mind some salmon steak. And some uh, slaughterfish. Alright, thank you. These are troubled times. Be on your guard out there. Always. Hello there. The Divines saved me from the streets, and they can save you from your trials as well. Oh. Um, I hope they do. Spiced wine to warm the blood. Hello there. You look like you could do with a ripe apple, or a tomato, cabbage, or, or leek. Um, all right. Uh, let me see what you have. See for yourself. Cabbages. I'll take your apples. Red apples and some tomatoes. Do you have, you have leeks? Yes, leeks. And some carrots, I guess. I'll take them. I really want to cook some vegetable soup. Alright, might, might as well. Alright, um. Thank you. Come back when you figure out how to spend money. I just spent money on you. Whatever. Um, An apple to keep you healthy? A tomato to keep you strong? But surely you need one or the other. I bet you get some interesting people through here. That I do. I had a messenger from Dragon Bridge stop here on his way to the Blue Palace not too long ago. Huh. He was very nervous. Mentioned something about needing help. Fish here. Hmm. All right. Um, thank you. I'll always have fruit to buy until it goes rotten. Then I won't. I think I spiced wine for the winking skeever. I think I'm, I'm a little dumber after talking today. to that person. Of giving it to Vivia. Sure, Sorex. Just like you did the last one. The last one was a warm up. Hello. You wouldn't have a few minutes to run down to the docks, would you? I think I might. Why? Is there something that you need from the docks? Well, I've got a shipment of spices the East Empire Company is holding up. I need someone to convince them to release it. All right, um, it shouldn't be a problem. I'll see what I can do. Great. Get back to me when you're done, and I'll give you something for your time. Hmm. All right, I'd, uh, like some of that wine. Um, is your spiced wine made from a secret recipe? <laughs> oh, yes. A oh. secret family recipe. The only good thing my father Octave ever did. In fact, it's so good, no one else in Skyrim even tries to make any. Ooh. And how are your sales, then? They're adequate. Honestly, ah. I rely on the business brought in by the burning of King Olaf. And that's not likely to happen this year. The burning There's of King like Olaf? Well, it's a great big Vegetables festival put on by the bards the every year. They burn an effigy of old King strange. Olaf. It's quite a bit of fun. The bards huh. give out spiced wine during the festival, so they put it in a big order. And then, for weeks after, demand is so high, 
I can barely keep up. But with the death of High King Torig, the festival has been declared in poor taste. So it looks like it won't happen this year. Hmm. Well, that's a pity. Anyway, um, I'll see what I can do about your request. Thank you. Good luck out there. Seems like a tough time to be wandering Skyrim. Well, you don't know the half of it. All right, come on. Is there anything on this? Clear out Steve Hall Barrow. Deliver a letter to Dragon Bridge. Yeah. Right. So. <coughs> Very musical lady. <laughs> wow, this place is larger than I thought. Well, it is Skyrim's largest city mall. Right. We haven't even gone to the Legion headquarters. Hmm. Oh, is this the Bard's College? Ooh, hello there. Um, all right. Um, yes. Oh, that's good. Um, yes. <laughs> uh, hello there. Good afternoon. I'm Pantia Atia, the master vocalist. Oh, um, it's an honor, I guess. All right, I think this is the uh, Bard's College. Let's see what we can f see. Welcome to the Bard's College. I'm the headmaster here. How may um, I help you? Um, yeah, well, I don't know, actually. Uh, do you accept applicants? Always a pleasure to meet a prospective bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. Oh. When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring bard. Alright, um... Uh, why not? I don't have anything better to do. <laughs> What do you need us to do? Elisif has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the Bard's College. We yes, need to I've, change her mind. I've heard about that. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, a part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, Ooh. the verse was lost long ago. And that's where I come in? Yes. According to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Respite. Dead Man's Respite? I need you to retrieve the poem. Retrieving a lost what? poem from an ancient tomb seems like a strange entrance exam. Are all bards hardened grave robbers? Ah, well, yeah. what do I know? Yes, I, I know. I was thinking the same thing, Lucian. They're not looking for prospective bards, they're looking for bounty hunters. Um, anyway, uh, in you go. I have been working on a few songs of my own. If you want to hear them, take a seat and let me know. Yes, um... I do not mind standing or sitting while I perform, but I would prefer that you were relaxed and focused. Alright, um... Yes, indeed. If you need anything else, just ask. The All right, um, in good hands with you, Inga. Yes, I like the stories my mother told. One day I'll be a hero, brave and bold. Yes, amazing. <laughs> uh, um. Still needs a bit of work, I guess. You want to talk? As All are set? 
Well, anyway. What's on your mind? Well, um, I guess I don't really need to become a bard, but you know what? If there is some treasure and this historical document, I mean, why not? We are probably the best person to go and find it. Right behind you. So, where is this dead man's respite? So... Well, it's... It's not that far from here, but it is a bit of a... It is a bit of a travel. Anyway... Come on. I guess we could go there, but... Go to the Blue Palace before anything else. It's getting a bit late, but maybe we could uh, have an audience with the Jarl. Being a Thane, it's only proper. Ooh. Well, this is posh. Unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my rule. Oh. Your Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. <clears throat> Thank you, Jarl Elisif. But about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Barnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. I think that's our cue, Mort. Hmm. Hello there. Do you have business with the court? Well, not in particular, but I hear you're looking for some help with some cave. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you, I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. Hmm. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. Huh, I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. Ah, good. I just may do that. I'm um, Martin Brandis, Thane of Whiterun, by the way. Adventurer and, uh, well, also Archmage of the College of Winterhold. <laughs> uh, if you have to know. Why is this place called Wolfskull Cave, by the way? The cave has a bad history. Huh. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for Ooh. necromantic rituals. That's oh. where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. Mort? The former lair of a famous necromancer. There may be traces of her magic still present. We must go there at once. Ah, uh, whatever. All right. All right, um, thank you. I'll see about the cave then. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. Yes, um, Hello, you must be the court va Greetings, Archmage. Yes, um, thank you, Miss Sibyl Stentor. You're the court wizard here. Um, were you the wizard uh, of the court for long? I was a member of the court during the reign of Torg's father. It was Torg who appointed me to the position. Oh, so you and... The late High King were close. 
Very. I helped raise him. Oh, I could not have been more proud to see Torg on the throne. Uh, he made a fine king. A fine king. Uh, yes, um... Were you there when he died? Or was murdered? I was, to my shame. The whole court was in attendance. I've seen much in my time, but that was a gruesome day. How did it happen, by the way? Ulfric showed up at the Gates of Solitude, requesting an audience. We thought he was here to ask Torg to declare independence. By the time we realized Ulfric was here to challenge Torg, it was already too late. Why was it too late? By Nord custom, once the challenge was issued in court, Torg had no choice but to accept. Had mm. he not, Ulfric would have had cause to call a new moot and a new vote for High King. Torg had some martial training, of course, but it mattered little that day. When Ulfric's lips parted, when he unleashed the power of the Thum, the that thum. shout, that ancient and terrible tongue, ripped Torg asunder. Huh. Alright, um... Let me see your wares, then. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Uh, does it have any... Eh, why, why would he even ask? Pretty much have every spell already that we need. Alright. Anyway, um... Thank you, Miss... Stentor. I hope you have a long life and, um... Take care of yourself and always remember, the world is ripe with people looking to spill your blood. Yes, spilling our blood. Tears. Tell me I'm not crazy. Oh, you're not crazy, Mort. She's a vampire. And I'm fairly sure everyone here knows it. And has no problem with it, apparently. Unless they're all her thralls. I doubt it. Hmm. Well, uh, I guess, um, that's just the way things are here. Anyway, Wolf Skull Cave, Dead Man's Respite. A lot more ruins to take care of, I guess, in the area. Which means I'll have to hang on to this stupid rueful axe for a bit longer. Oh well. <laughs>